And we're back, and I'm Jerry Brockman with a developing story from Central Asia. Once again, Armenia and Azerbaijan are clashing over a disputed region. Centuries-old claims over Nagorno-Karabakh have again boiled over into open combat. Nagorno-Karabakh, of course, has many pipelines transiting across its territory. The worry is, of course, that if the conflict continues unabated, it may spark a longer, much nastier war. We go now to James Tremonton, reporting from the front lines in the war-torn region. That's right, Jerry. I'm currently in the Karbajar Pass, near to where the M12 highway connects with Armenia proper, by Agoras. This heavily forested mountain pass has seen some of the deadliest fighting yet. James, we've been told that a ceasefire has silenced the guns after 48 hours of bloodletting. Is this true? Well, I can tell you is that this entire mountainous area is heavily militarized, and there seems to be no let-up in the hostilities. There's even rumors of chemical weapons being deployed. There is no ceasefire at this time, I can tell you. We've also seen video footage of two helicopters and three drones being shot down near the capital, Baku. Tanks being knocked out. What can you tell us about these events? Armenia has declared martial law, mobilized all of its forces, and launched a massive cross-border artillery attack, including a deadly missile attack on targets further afield. Casualties are heavy, both military and civilian. It's not surprising that aircraft have been brought down. Both sides are bristling with Russian-made anti-aircraft systems. It seems that the rhythm of the conflict is escalating. It's certainly much more than a territorial dispute now. It sounds like total war. Jerry, we're about to enter an area controlled by ethnic Armenian mercenaries. I can hear firing up ahead. Our fixer is advising us to keep quiet and to stay no low. No lights. We're going to have to uh, proceed with caution here. But stay with us. We're coming something. We're coming to something up ahead here now. 